Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on medical microbiology and this is the part 5 of this series of videos on medical microbiology. So the first question of this video that is question number 81. So trachoma is caused by option A flaviviridae, option B retroviridae, option C herpes, uh, herpes viridae or option D uh, candida trachomatis and the right answer about this trachoma is option d that is it is caused by candida trachomatis okay so this trachoma is a bacterial infection that affects the eyes so it caused by the bacterium chlamydia trachomatis and this trachoma is contagious and spread through uh, through contact with the eyes eyelids and nose or throat secretion of infected people okay so let's move on to question number 82 that is cell culture techniques are recommended for the isolation of option a retroviridae option b chlamydia species option c both option d none and the right one is option b that is chlamydia species okay so cell culture techniques are recommended for the isolation of chlamydia species okay so let's move on to Question number 83, it is dash in cerebrospinal fluid may be detected by latex agglutination and the options are option A, cryptococcus antigens, option B, cerebrospinal fluid, option C, blood or option D, both A and B and the right one is option A, it is cryptococcus antigens so cryptococcus antigens in cerebrospinal fluid may be detected by latex agglutination okay so let's move on to question number 84 that is dash method are used to favor the growth of microorganisms and the options are option a culture option b beneficial option c pcr option d none of this and the right one is option a that is culture so culture method are used for used to favor the growth of microorganisms okay so let's move on to question number 85 that is dash is important and useful in examination of conjunctivitis scrapping and the options are option a computers option b cytological examination option c both option d none and the right one is option b that is cytological examination so cytological examination is important and useful in examination of conjunctivitis scrapping okay so let's move on to question number 86 that is dfa stands for option a direct fluorescent antibody option b district fluorescent antibody option c both option d none of this and the right one is option a that is direct fluorescent antibody okay so this direct fluorescent antibody or dfa test are rapid antigen based procedures that use a fluorescent microscope to identify bacteria and viruses in patient samples okay so next question they can get next is question number 87 that is respiratory disease may be caused by option a Cetacea, option B, pneumonia, option C, mycoplasma or option D, all of the above. So, the right one is option C, that is mycoplasma. So, respiratory disease may be caused by mycoplasma, okay. So, next question is question number 88, that is many viruses are most readily isolated during option A, fast few days, option B, after a year, option c both or option d none of these and the right one is option a that is fast few days so many viruses are most readily isolated during fast few days okay so next question they can get next is question number 89 that is dash is present in respiratory illness in pharyngeal or nasal secretion and options are option a bacteria option b virus option c both or option d none of this and the right one is option b that is virus so virus is present in respiratory illness in pharyngeal or 
nasal secretion okay the next is question number 90 that is dash is first method of virus culture Option A that is preparation of inoculum, option B test of RBC, option C both or option D none of this and the right one is option A that is preparation of inoculum. Okay, So let us move on to question number 91 that is Lassa virus causes option A LMC, option B Lassa fever, option C respiratory disease or option D none of this and the right one is option B that is Lassa fever. So, Lassa virus causes Lassa fever and this Lassa fever is a viral hemorrhagic fever caused by the Lassa virus and it is also known as Lassa hemorrhagic fever. So, the Lassa virus is spread by the common African rat also known as the multi mammet rat. And humans as usually become infected through exposure to food or household items contaminated with the urine or feces of the infected rats. Okay. So let's move on to question number 92. That is, hemorrhagic fever is detected by option A cell culture, option B suckling mice, option C both A and B, or option D none of the above. So hemorrhagic fever is detected by option C. That is both A and B that means by cell culture and suckling mice. So this viral hemorrhagic fever is a condition that can affect many organ systems in the body and it can damage the cardiovascular system and reduce the body's ability to function. Okay. So next is question number 93. What does ELVIS or ELVIS stands for and the options are option A enzyme liberated virus incredible system or option b enzyme linked virus incredible system or option c enzyme linked virtual incredible system or option d enzyme linked virus inducible system so the right answer is option d that is enzyme linked virus inducible system and this and this uh, elvish or the Enzyme linked virus inducible system is a cell cultured based viral diagnosis technology. It is a quick, sensitive, and specific alternative to traditional tube culture. So, ELVIS is used to detect live herpes simplex virus. Okay. Let's move on to question number 94. That is, which one of the following was the first test developed to diagnose HIV 1? And the options are option A, Western blot, option B, absolute CD4, option C, tissue culture, option D, all of the above or all of this. So, which one is first developed to diagnose HIV-1? That is option C, that is tissue culture. Okay. The next question is bacterial vaginalis, vagin, uh, vaginalis is best diagnosed uh, by all of the following except option a measurement of vaginosis option b detection of a fishy odor option c bacterial culture for anaerobes and uh, sorry aerobes and anaerobes or option d examination of a gram stained smear so which one is correct so the right answer is option c that is bacterial culture for anaerobes and uh, sorry aerobes and anaerobes so this is not true. So, bacterial vaginosis is best diagnosed by all of this option A, B and D but not option C. Okay. So, let us move on to question number 96 that is incubation period of bacillus cereus is option A 1 to 16 hours, option B 2 to 16 hours, option C 1 hour, 
or option D none of this. So the right answer about the incubation period of bacillus cereus is option B that is 2 to 16 hours okay. Next is question number 97 that is lymphoproliferative virus is caused due to option A cytomegalovirus, option B hepatitis B virus, option C Epstein-Barr virus or option D herpes simplex virus and the right one is option C that is Epstein-Barr virus. So lymphoproliferative virus is caused Bar, caused due to Epstein Barr virus. Okay, and this lymphoproliferative disease is a complication of immune dysregulation syndrome and primary immunodeficiency. Okay, so the next one is question number 98. So, which of the following protozoa can cause diarrhea? And options are option A, Entamoeba histolytica, option B, Giardia lamblia, lamblia, or option C. Uh, cryptosporidium parvum option D all of the above. So which one is the protozoa can which protozoa can cause diarrhea and the right one is option D that is all of these protozoans can cause diarrhea okay. So next is question number 99 that is which of the following anaerobes can cause wound infection and options are option A that is Peptostreptococci, option B, Bacteroid species, option C, Clostridium perfringens, option D, all of the above. And the right one is option D, that is all of the above organisms or anaerobes can cause wound infection. They can, all of these anaerobes can cause wound, wound infection, okay. So the last question of this video, that is, a three-year-old child has reported in the accident and emergency department with fever, irritability, lethargy and skin rash since the previous evening. So on examination, the patient had a temperature of 40.5 degrees Celsius, skin rashes and was drowsy. So there was neck stiffness. So the CSF was cloudy and has 500 white blood cells per ml. So, which of the following microorganisms is least likely to be causative agent of this disease? And the options are option A, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, option B, Neisseria meningitis, option C, Haemophilus influenza type B, or option D, Streptococcus pneumoniae. So, the right answer is option A, that is, Mycobacterium tuber tuberculosis is the least likely to be causative agent of this disease okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 5 video part 5 of this video on medical microbiology okay so thank you for watching this video